Watch your crush army where you at your motivation guy. That's right, I am back. And today, we're bringing you another video from our pro Fortnite analysis series, What Would You Do? Everyone's been talking about this. This is where we give you guys a chance to think about what you would do in a challenging situation, then show you what the pros did and why. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at our solo World Cup champion, Booga, our five-time World Cup qualifier, Clicks, and the solo World Cup qualifier, who's one of the Fortnite's smartest guys, Bizzle. This trio is just like absolutely insane and definitely has the potential to win this upcoming show FNCS, which is exactly why we're gonna be going over one of their high kill wins from round two of the recent show FNCS qualifier. Are you guys ready for this? I know I am. Let's get this going. So the guys loaded into their fourth game with 64 points and dropped for their usual spot, Sweaty Sands. All right, so before they landed, they noticed another team was contesting them. And the early game fight started quick with Booga unfortunately being triple landed on and pickaxed by the whole enemy team. So Clicks and Bizzle quickly ran over to help and eliminated one of the opponents right after that. They finished off Booga, turning into a 2v2. The teams then separated and began looting for about a minute before Bizzle found himself pinched by the two opponents while he was split from Clicks, forcing him to box up. Alright, so once he boxed up, one of the players began to pressure his wall. This left him with two options, as well as leaving us with our first question. What would you do? Like, would you hold the wall and just hope to stall time until Clicks arrives? Or would you attempt to peace control the opponent and fight by yourself? Well, if we keep Bizzle's inventory in mind and notice he had an uncommon primal shotgun, we can come to the conclusion that Peace controlling the opponent and going for a play could actually put him in a worse position. And this is because not only would he be exposing himself while Peace controlling, but also because going for peak shots with the primal shotgun would barely do any damage. And going for a 50-50 would most likely not end well considering it's a 1v2. So, Bizzle held his walls to stall time until Clicks arrived. So now the opponent must have just heard Clicks as he got close, because the player who was pressuring Bizzle's wall randomly decided to exploit into his box as soon as Clicks got there. Luckily, Bizzle managed to knock the opponent by, you know, trapping them in a corner and taking advantage of his primal shotgun. Clicks was then down after getting the last opponent to 1 HP, so Bizzle ran out of his box to take the final shots and he won the fight. Afterwards, Bizzle revived Clicks and rebooted Booga, and the trio began looting and just upgrading their weapons as much as possible before rotating to the first zone. Alright, let me ask you this, like, do you want a chance to play in the Fortnite World Stage when the World Cup Series eventually comes back? Well, that means that you need to train and really get better, man. And the best way to do that is to head on over to ProGuides.com. Let me tell you why. We've got pro coaches ready and waiting 24-7 to help take you to the next level. They're going to play with you, man. They're going to tell you exactly what you need to do to get better with tailor-made feedback that will help you improve faster than ever. All you need to do and really to get started is click the link in the top right. Come on, let's go. So after driving into the zone, Booga, Clicks, and Bizzle were triple sprayed out of nowhere by a trio in Pleasant Park, causing both Booga and Clicks to lose their shields within a couple of seconds. The fight started off a little sketchy while, you know, they were healing, but they stayed calm and, you know, they played together, which led to Clicks getting a near-free elimination on one of the opponents with his pickaxe, scoring him a legendary pump. After that, Booga began spraying another player with his primal rifle and managed to crack their shields. He told this to his team, so Clicks pushed the low health opponent in an attempt to finish off their health. Once he found the player, he realized that he had the opponent to catch them off guard. So this leaves us with the question, what would you do? Like with your inventory in mind, would you harpoon into you know the low health opponent's box with your legendary pump or would you play a little more safe and go for peace control while your teammates come to help? Well, we have to remember guys that there are still two players alive on the enemy team, but Clicks and his trio have no information on the other player. And so knowing that, it's safe to assume that the other player is just close or is on the way to the fight since their teammates needs help. And so this means the best option would be to really play it safe with peace control since the other player can just come from any direction and force Clicks into a 1v2 if he isn't protected. Also, it's possible for the low health opponent to get lucky and eliminate clicks in the 50-50, so I guess it's just better to play it safe, no matter what. So now looking at what happened, we can see that Clicks took the opportunity to harpoon into the enemy's box. And unfortunately, the other opponent dropped into the box from above as soon as Clicks jumped in, which forced him into a 1v2. Even in this situation, man, like it was still possible for Clicks to finish off the low health opponent, but there was just no way for him to really know which player it was. And he ended up cracking the full health opponent's shields before being eliminated. And after that, you know, Bizzle was there to really claim the wall and he eliminated both of the opponents within a few peak shots. 
Looking back, we can't really blame Clicks for harpooning into the box since the other player was nowhere to be found. And jumping in didn't seem like too much of a risk with how low his opponent's health was. Also, who knows, man, like cracking the full health player's shield could have been what won them the fight. So after that, Bizzle quickly rebooted Clicks as the storm came in and the guys drove to the second zone. So once they got there, they took the time to max out the materials, they got some storm surge, and they based up on the edge of the fourth zone, you know, hoping to pull half and half. Unfortunately, they didn't pull it, but you know, they were the closest to it, which allowed them to easily rotate and base up safely before everybody else could. All right, bunch of good Sami. <laughs> it's about that time for the question of the day. Today, we want to know your opinions on the Fortnite World Cup champion himself, Booga. Like, do you think he's still cracked or do you think he's kind of fallen off over the past year? Let us know in the comments down below and we're going to check them out. All right, back to the video. All right, so from here, and I mean like right here, things got pretty hectic as teams started going for height and the end game began. But, you know, right as the first moving started, like Booga and Bizzle noticed the perfect opportunity to flank the high ground team. And so while keeping your materials in mind, what would you do? Like, would you crank up to high ground and flank the enemy team? Or would you play it safe and rotate underneath them to avoid the potential consequences? Well, going for high ground here is a great play since their opponents have zero clue that they're there. And high ground can guarantee them, you know, the win if they play it just right. Also, like they have a decent amount of materials. So if anything does go wrong, they can just, you know, drop down to a different layer and just move on with the game. Knowing this, the guys decided to take their opportunity and crank up for high ground. And it really started off great with Booga instantly building above his opponents. You know, at first they tried to build fight them, but Bizzle and Clicks managed to get like a knock on one of them, which forced the other players to drop down from high ground. And this was exactly what they needed as it really allowed them to focus on holding the height and really tarping ahead. But it seems they got a little too distracted, you know, trying to eliminate the rest of the enemy team and another trio from the front of the zone decided to crank up and still the high ground without a problem. And so this forced the guys to drop down from height, but whether they got it or not, going for it was still a good call and was definitely worth the risk, you know, they took since they still had the materials they needed to move on with the game. So moving zones continue as the trio made their way through the mid ground and, you know, they eliminated a few opponents along the way. Once the third moving started, Booga noticed the team above him was about to run over his builds. The guys were running low on mats, so Booga had to make a quick decision. If you were in Booga's current situation, what would you do? Like, would you drop the enemy team into your tarp for a potentially free refresh, or would you continue tunneling to look for another option? Well, you know, when it comes to stacked in games, guys, like this is actually a great play. This is because the majority of the time players won't expect to randomly just be dropped into another team's box. And many of these end games are just too laggy for players to even notice something like this happening until it's too late. So Booga edited open his builds and, you know, dropped one of the opponents directly into his tunnel, easily earning his team a free refresh. You know, it wasn't a huge amount of materials, but every build materials when it comes to end games like this matters. Also, you know, make sure, you know, not to run over enemy builds like these players unless it's absolutely necessary and feel free to do what booga did the next time that you find the opportunity just make sure to tell your teammates before you make the edit all right so getting back on topic booga and his team dropped to low ground after the refresh and eliminated everybody in their path especially clicks clicks absolutely destroyed entire teams on low ground with his insane peace control and exceptional aim after some time passed, Bizzle was unfortunately eliminated after being blocked off and forced into Stink Fish. And that was just shortly followed by Booga being eliminated from an opponent spraying him in Storm. But even under those circumstances, Clix managed to take height and destroy the game's remaining players within seconds of his team being eliminated, clutching the Victor Royale for his trio. All right, push the crunch, Tommy. Before the video ends, let's go over a quick recap of what we just learned. Like, if you ever find yourself, guys, in a fight while you're split from your team, try to hold your walls and just spread out as much as possible to buy time until your teammates get there to help you. Also, avoid jumping into your opponent's box, even if they're low on health. You know, you just never know what can happen. Another thing to remember, guys, don't hesitate to crank up for height if your opponents aren't paying attention. It may win you the game if you play it right. And lastly, guys, feel free to drop opponents into your box for a free refresh, man. If, especially if they're not paying attention. They probably won't even know where you are until it's too late. Punch a cross on me. Okay, guys, that's it for today's analysis of Booga, Clicks, and Bizzle. And with this team, man, there's really no doubt. You know, they are set to go far in this season's FNCS. You know, they've got some real star power, so I'd be sure to watch out for them over the course of the tournament for sure. And if you guys want to learn how to play like one of the pros, you can always check out the rest of our channel for more tips and more tricks. And if you 
you found this video helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to connect with me, I am right here on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. I am so proud of you. I believe in you. I am your number one fan. And I'll see you on the next one.